And that's what it is for the sweatshirt. So instead of it saying like MoMA, like the MoMA Museum in New York, it's MOA. Period for MOA la la. If someone was to describe this look to you, you would think that, oh, basic. But to see this sweater, how it just stand up off the collar like that, first off, I wanna know how they got it to stand up like that. What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra. And I am back with another sake slash my favorite looks from the past shows that's been going on. And today I am featuring a new sake and this is probably the most traditional sake thus far um, for this series that I've done. And yeah, it's just like really just what you think of when you think of sake. I would highly recommend it. And it's a cloudy sake, so you wanna give it a little shaky shake shake before you pour her. Otherwise, if it's too clear, that means that you, need, you didn't shake it good enough if it's a cloudy. And I am so excited, you guys, for today's designers that I'm gonna be covering. And one of them is going to be Martin Rose. Oh, oh, oh. And yeah, I didn't buy this shirt because of this. I just bought the shirt because I'm like, I love the sayings, like no hang ups, like period. And man, okay, so I might be with it. That's mine. Every day I'm like, I love them all. <laughs> okay, like for real, like no hang ups. The sun is going to shine tomorrow. So yeah, that's why I got this shirt. Anyways, and then one of you guys commented on my last video and you guys were saying you should do Martin Rose or Molola and I'm like oh my gosh like yes 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 I was gonna do it anyway but like yes yes however I have never covered Molola on my channel I've never talked about Molola I will say I appreciate her work if you don't know what Molola is she is a Nigerian born designer but she's based in London I believe and she really pushes the boundaries when it comes to like creating innovative silhouettes um, she is known for like working with leathers and PVC and also she is known for this look worn by Kanye and Kim Kardashian which was everything and I think that little cutout like the little cutouts on the side I think that's like a known Moa Lola like silhouette that's what I think of when I think Moa Lola and one thing that I read too about Moa Lola is that with her being from Nigeria she is always representing okay she's always pulling inspiration in some form fashion from Nigeria and today I'm going to be covering looks for a Moa Lola fall 2023 show and with this show it was said to be inspired by New York like cliche way and also what I love about this collection is she chose to like take logos like main like New York logos like Marlboro the MoMA logo and she like tweaked it it's like she could get sued but we don't know also she had a freaking shirt that said sue me on it and then Moa Lola was quoted saying it's about the collapse of society this is what I envision people wearing at the end of time that is her story that is her vision who gonna tell her wrong so this first look I freaking love and I love this look because it reminds me of living in Chicago and growing up you know seven eight years old I feel like what year was that probably like I don't know 2003 2004 I guess I feel like the fashion in like the hood anyway was like for people to like sag their pants like my dad sagged his pants my uncle sagged his pants all their friends sagged their pants like that was the look and this definitely brings me back to those times and I love that, yeah, I love that it's a black designer, you know, making it a thing again. You know what I'm saying? And anyway, I don't think it's, obviously it's not pants, but it's like giving that same type of a feel. It's definitely like a skirt situation, but I am freaking obsessed. Also, it's very innovative and I love that, you know, she took inspiration from that aesthetic and made it into her own like this is something that I've never seen before personally I mean comment down below if you have but this skirt situation is doing it for me I just think that the style of two of this look is just so good I didn't think that a hoodie could look so fashionable also with the little head off to the side is giving uh you guys serve when what was his name who, who was it Lil Saint when Lil Saint back it's giving like a little fizz young fizz you guys serve and that's what it is for the sweatshirt. So instead of it saying like MoMA, like the MoMA Museum in New York, it's MOA. Period for MOA Lala. This is so New York with the freaking Timberlands on. 
And then this is another like jogging suit type of a vibe. I just love how oversized it is, how baggy the freaking um, joggers are. And is this Shaq West? Because I looked it up low-key. I Google, Google Shaq West Mobilola and it didn't pop up. But I'm like, this looks like Shaq West. And then at the end of the show, you have Mobilola coming out in a total Mobilola look. I love the leather. And I just think that sis is everything. Sis is everything. Also, sis is 28. I think she's about to be 28 years old because she was born in 1995. I was born in 1994. So yeah, she's about to be 28 years old. And to accomplish so much in such short time, I mean, it's nothing shy of amazing. I feel like it's just as amazing as a 40 year old as a 28 year old. But to do it at 28, it's just like, wow, you really did that. You really sacrificed a lot at such a young age. You know, because, I mean, you have to make such such sacrifices to be a Mobilola, to be a Martine Rose. You know what I'm saying? But I love this Mobilola show. I want to know what you guys think, though. What was your favorite look from this collection? Rose, I'm talking about Martine Rose. Gotta wear the Martine Rose shirt! If you don't know who Martine Rose is, I will definitely link up a video by the Fashion Archives up here for you guys because... I know he is a very, very big fan of Martine Rose, and I think that he's talked about her a couple times on his channel. I feel like I've definitely seen one of the videos, and it was very informative, so I'm definitely, you definitely should check out that video. Also, I've talked about Martine Rose on my channel, but again, I would definitely go check out the Fashion Archive video over my video, because Fashion Archive, that's what he does. He's a journalist, fashion journalist, and very smart guy. I'm going to be talking about looks from Martine Rose Fall 2023 menswear collection. And when I think of Martine Rose, I definitely think of uncle. That is literally the first thing that comes to mind is like your, you know, cool uncle that always got a little napping in his hand with a little drink maybe in his cup, tinted eyeglasses, put them down, sit your head down a little bit, you know, put them back up. Like that's what I think of when I think of Martine Rose jeans with a little square toe little church shoes on i i just love it i love it so so much i feel like martine rose is for strictly fashion lovers i mean it's a piece or two for like the hype beasts but it's mostly for the people that just love fashion and that can appreciate an artist that is a trailblazer in this and i would say moa lola and martine rose one thing that i in my opinion they have in common is they are both pushing the boundaries when it comes to silhouettes because when i think of you know martin rose as well like i think of like square toe you know or trapezoid you know looking shoes which i again had never seen prior to martin rose and i'm definitely gonna try to get my hands on the martin rose nikes this go round i just feel like that's like a sick piece to own like her shoes are just so wearable too especially like the little square toe loafers like i feel like those go with literally everything my friend owns them and so freaking cute although martin rose is a menswear brand i would definitely say it's a brand that's like genderless like get into the martin rose looks this first look again reminds me of an uncle like i just feel like it's the jeans with the little shoes like I always would think like as a kid like why is my uncle wearing jeans with church shoes like to me as a kid I just thought it was the ugliest thing ever but me now as an adult and with the path that I've had in fashion like I can appreciate my uncle's style so much more now like it was just so chic so classy and just I think what I love most about this look though is that it's just so timeless I feel like you can never go wrong with a button up and a tie, you know, tucked into a pair of jeans. Again, my uncle used to do it. Your uncle probably used to wear this and it works. It's cool. It's put together. It's effortless slash effort done so well. With this look, I just love how it's just so opposite, but it just works. As you can see, there's like a soccer jersey underneath a, you know, very serious brown suit with a square toe looking shoe for that uncleness drizzle. And I just love the colors. I feel like the brown up against this very vibrant blue is very beautiful and it just really corresponds nicely. Although I'm pretty sure a stylist put this look on this person and it was just all, you just thought out all of the looks. I just feel like the chains for some reason, they look like, 
they don't necessarily belong, but they belong for this particular person. I feel like it just brings in an authenticity to this look. I have never seen a Shirley looking jacket like this. Like usually a Shirley is like leather with the Shirley, but this one is like a cotton denim with the Shirley. Like so freaking sick. I feel like this is a piece that I would definitely want to get my hands on from the Martin Rose collection. Um, it's just a classic, you know, Shirley aviator vibe, but a denim, like, Talk about innovation. And then get into the last look that I really, really liked. It's this one right here. And I feel like if someone was to describe this look to you, you would think that, oh, basic. But to see this sweater, how it just stand up off the collar like that, first off, I wanna know how they got it to stand up like that. And it, it, the color, it brings like a softness, but to see like the shoulders on this shirt, it gives like a hardness or a more like strong type of a vibe. So otherwise a very like soft presenting color and like also feel like it looks like a soft, you know, looking sweater. And then I feel like this lilac again with brown, the colors just really, really work together. And then it looks like a claw again might be the thing for the fall season. In our last socket video or my socket video before last, I covered Dree's fall 2023 show and he also had a clog. So I'm seeing that clogs are going to be the it thing for this fall season. And as you can see, Martine Rose has her little claw. And I would say Martine Rose is definitely an inspiration to me. To see her in a position that she is, I can see myself, being that she is also a black woman. Of course, I'm gonna wear something that says Martine Rose. You know, this is something, this is a brand that I want to see succeed to the highest of heights. So I want people to see this name, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, that is what I have to say, you guys. This go round. These are all the looks that I have loved from Olola and from Martine Rose. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if so, be sure to smash the little like button and let me know who you want me to cover next down in the comments. And see you guys in my next video. Peace.